We all want to live a healthy life, which means we need to maintain an appropriate exercise and nutritional routine. This is another video to help you understand the best tips, facts, and hacks to do just that. Suppose you find yourself going to the gym consistently several times a week, completing cardio sessions, weightlifting, and sweating more than Muhammad Ali. However, no matter how many times you step on that scale, your weight remains the same, leaving you to wonder how this is possible since working out seems to be the most effective method of losing excess weight. Well, this is possible if you're making the same exercise blunders that so many others make in the gym every day. Bad gym manners are directly related to negative impacts on your training sessions and your fitness results. In today's video, we'll be talking about the 9 things to never do at the gym, so stay with us throughout the entire video. But before we start, be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring the notification bell so you don't miss the latest video updates. So let's get to those things not to do. A common misconception by various people is that simply going to the gym and bumping up against a weight machine will result in weight loss. According to Peterson, who's overseen the fitness program at West Point for over two decades, there are many misconceptions about getting the greatest amount of weight and fat reduction through exercise. One such example is the misinterpretation of perspiration as calorie burning. Sweating just indicates that your internal system is overactive, he explains. It doesn't identify or impact the amount of weight you're reducing or the number of calories burned, which is determined by how much activity you're putting in to complete your workout. Additionally, sweat is entirely composed of water weight, quickly replenished as you begin to consume fluids again. It doesn't have any real significance for weight loss. A far more serious difficulty with achieving benefits from your workouts is that many people are unaware of how to exercise correctly. They don't understand or haven't been taught the proper operational use of workout machines and equipment. Since they can't develop or implement a suitable fitness plan, they just show up and go through their motions, never achieving any needle-moving results from the process," Peterson explains. Then, when they become disheartened, they return to their previous lifestyle that contributed to their weight gain in the first place. So let's find out the 9 things you should never do at the gym to impact your fitness goals and lifestyle. The National Academy of Sports Medicine Director of Education, Scott Lucid, has been a certified personal trainer for more than 15 years and observes many people conversing with one another at the gym. Time at the gym can pass by fast, and it doesn't take too long before an hour has passed and the amount of time they have spent exercising is a lot less than they have been at the gym. Be sure to focus on your workout and leave the small talk for when you're done and cooling down. One recommendation is to use headphones or ear pods to listen to your favorite music while you work out. This will keep you in the zone and fewer people will naturally talk less with you. Do you consider going to the gym the ideal opportunity to catch up on your reading time? Are you putting your trust in the machines? Although those gym goers may appear to be working out, many people are simply going through the motions of their daily lives. They believe that they'll lose weight as long as they're moving, Lucid says of the misconception. However, if the intensity is not at the level it should be, it's virtually a waste of time. Other recommendations made by Peterson include working out for longer periods, increasing weights and distance traveled, cross-training, exercising on an incline, and making the most of your body weight while exercising, such as wearing a weighted vest or using ankle weights, among other things. The bottom line here is that with more intensity, you'll achieve more from your workouts. You've probably seen the charts on the cardiovascular machines that identify different zones of activity. Note that your workout routine intensity does not need to be extremely high to reach the fat-burning zone. Typically, your heart rate needs to be your maximum effort between 65 and 70 percent. In contrast, research has shown that the higher your exercise intensity, the more calories you burn. Not just when you're exercising, but also for hours after you leave the gym, when your body benefits from what is known as the afterburn mode. It's as if you turn off your automobile motor, but the hood is still warm, as Lucid describes the situation. This is also true of the body. You must target for your intensity to be greater than the chart. And if you can't put in the same amount of effort, start slow and progress up as you work out. Everyone starts somewhere, and the most important point is to start. Don't be fooled by the number that appears on the screen of your favorite cardio machine, either. Dr. Lucid points out that that's a generic figure, and there are many things that can go into that. 
While the machine may indicate that you've burned 500 calories, you might only be burning 250. This is especially true when attempting to trick the machine by doing things like leaning on the bars. Even though the computer, which depends on speed and revolutions to calculate calories, is completely unaware of your actions, you're offsetting your weight, which means you're dramatically reducing the amount of energy you're using to perform the workout. We say this a lot at the gym. Regardless of the exercise, good form means everything. When you repeat the same workout repeatedly, the body sees no need to modify its behavior. In the beginning, there will be a sudden weight loss, but gradually there will be a point of diminishing returns, according to Lucet. One of the most difficult challenges, according to Peterson, is breaking away from the machinery and routines with which you're most familiar. To maintain muscle mass, which is the bodily tissue that burns calories, he explains that people who like cardiovascular exercise are less likely to perform what is necessary to maintain muscle mass. Alternatively, you can focus solely on strength training, which can help you retain muscle mass without losing weight. For the best results, you've got to focus the majority of your time using various options, including strength training and cardio sessions, to maximize the benefits of building lean muscle mass, strength, and fat loss. We're all familiar with the publications that promise you can lose weight from your abs or glutes. According to the experts, they should be forgotten immediately. People need to recognize that genetics is the most important component in determining where body fat originates. In other words, your body will remove fat from wherever it wants. What's the solution then? Simply concentrating on calorie expenditure through a well-balanced fitness regimen is optimal. By doing this consistently, you'll finally lose the weight from all the places of your body that have excessive fat deposits without losing that valuable muscle. The key here is to continue to do it and do it consistently. According to Peterson, it's easy to confuse mechanical inefficiency with calorie burn when you were not taught or haven't learned the proper way to use a machine or do an activity correctly. A major risk is that injuries can happen as a result of incorrectly doing a workout. Remember, if you get hurt, you can't go to the gym, Lucid states emphatically. In addition, if you can't exercise, you won't be burning calories. A major problem, of course, is recognizing when you're doing something incorrectly especially if you depend on workout tactics from way back when. Weight machines and exercise science as a whole have advanced enormously over the last several decades, so enlist the help of experienced gym staff to give you a proper walkthrough on the equipment needed for your routine, or consider hiring a personal trainer for a few sessions to assist with getting started and on the right path for fitness success. Besides the possibility of injuring yourself, starting an exercise routine too soon might become too sore or worse. Being painful isn't a bad thing, it's simply your body's method of informing you that it's working hard to increase muscular mass. While working out too hard, especially early on, might have a negative impact on your motivation, so it's not recommended. The second indication of overtraining is weariness, which will negatively influence the number of activities you can do during the remainder of the day. In the gym, you're not burning many calories, says the trainer. The majority of your calories are expended throughout the other 23 hours, he explains. During that hour, it's critical to ensure that your activities result in greater calorie expenditure throughout the remainder of your day. What's the solution? Make sure you have a customized fitness program to assist you with your workout. Many gyms now have computer software that can do just that. If this isn't the case, a member of the staff will be able to assist you. Many consumers are unaware that membership costs frequently include periodic one-on-one -on -one sessions, typically included with those payments. Ensure to inquire and use them if they're available, as customer workout routines will be included. Remember, you can always hire a trainer for a few sessions to develop this custom routine. You'll also be protected from falling victim to these traps if you hire an expert trainer to assist you. The advice of Peterson is that a personal trainer is your insurance policy to ensure that you gain the most efficiency out of your workout efforts. Think about working with a qualified personal trainer or an experienced fitness staffer to create a customized training program for you. They'll take the guesswork out of the equation, develop a customized plan tailored to your unique needs, ensure that you're performing your workout correctly, and even provide recommendations on healthy eating, an even more important component of the weight reduction jigsaw. Maintaining your commitment will eventually burn off the excess fat while building lean muscle mass to meet your fitness goals. That's all for today's video. Let us know your thoughts and if you enjoyed the video in the comments section below.
Be sure to share feedback if you incorporate any or all of these suggestions into your daily routine. We'd love to hear about your results and how long it took for you to start noticing results in your appearance, your lifestyle, and your attitude. Be sure to like and share this video so you can help others in meeting their fitness goals too. Please remember we appreciate your comments, recommendations, and sharing your fitness experiences with us and the other followers. See you in the next video.